right, so if you don't know, I'm Asia. I'm half black and half Filipino. I used to live and go to school in the Philippines, but I haven't been back since I was like 11 years old. I just found out that I've been given the incredible opportunity to go back. So I'm here because I was invited to speak at a girls empowerment festival called It's a Girl Thing Manila. I'm going to be talking about the movement I created two years ago called Magandang Morenex, which literally translates to beautiful brown skin. I was made fun of for having darker skin when I lived here and I wanted to create this movement to challenge colorism in our culture and to celebrate the diversity of Filipino beauty. And now I'm about to spend a week here doing whatever the hell I want, rediscovering the motherland as an adult. like 3 30 in the morning i'm awake because we're going to the top of a mountain in la trinidad because i want to watch the sunrise Mount Kalogong and they don't allow pets so my mom has to leave Kikai somewhere <laughs> Actually, the hardest hike I've ever done in my entire life. Um, I've never been rock climbing, like actual rock climbing before. So that was really scary, but like my adrenaline is pumping. Um, I feel very brave right now. <laughs> We just went helmet diving, which is exactly like scuba diving, except you're only using a helmet, and those helmets were heavy as hell.
place is so cool. You can literally zip line from one island to another. to Manila right now. These are my last two days in the Philippines. I've been doing so much physical activity that I just want to relax. I don't want to do anything but eat and sleep. <laughs> They took my mom's blazer and put it on a portable clothing hanger. That five-star service. Alright, so the family's here <laughs> and we just ordered some room service. This is what we ordered. We got some mango cheesecake, we got chicken tenders for Mia. <laughs> I think they forgot the adobo. You ordered adobo? my hotel and we're on a, like a typhoon one morning there's a typhoon coming and I'm supposed to be leaving in about like I don't know 12 hours or so and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to leave <laughs> I don't know if the plane's gonna be able to take off all right well we'll see what happens this was such an incredible trip. Not to sound all existential, but I learned a lot about myself this past week. Travel teaches you so many things and it's good to take a break and change your environment every once in a while. I feel like we get so caught up in our own problems and our own thoughts all the time that we forget to simply live. We forget to experience. We forget to spend time with those who mean so much to us. Sometimes we just lose ourselves. I don't want life to just happen. From now on, I'm choosing to actively participate in life. It's hard.